Creating timed dungeons has never been easier with this resource. Dungeons allow server owners to go ahead and create unlimited dungeons and unlimited missions with custom bosses, custom loot chests, and more. Let's get started on how to begin and create your first dungeon. You're first going to grab an item you want representing your dungeon hub. Uh, this will be your icon and you want to do slash dungeons create and go ahead and uh, set it as your icon and begin the creation. You're going to go ahead and enter the name of the dungeon hub that you want uh, into chat and then it's going to ask you afterwards to go ahead and enter the lore for it. So this will be a single line. Uh, you can change all the icon, the name, and the lore later on but this is just uh, to create the dungeon hub initially. This is an optional step but let's go ahead and create our dungeons NPC guy that uh, handles all our dungeons so we can see all the dungeons we create. So we can just place this anywhere in spawn. Uh, let's go ahead and type in the command and we can go ahead and spawn it. In. We can also go ahead and set our emergency spawn. This is uh, pretty complicated, but it's for uh, whenever a player disconnects from a mission that's ongoing and uh, he reconnects and he can't get into the dungeon hub, like if he deleted or something, uh, where is he going to spawn? So you want to make sure you get this emergency spawn set as well. All right, let's get down to creating our dungeon hub. So what we're gonna do is mark out the location or the region in which we want our uh, hub to be at. So this is like World Guard uh, regions. You're gonna select two corners. Uh, opposite of one another to um, distinguish what the region actually is. Uh, so you're going to do slash dungeon set location and then the dungeon number. This is our first dungeon so we'll say one and then we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the, the left click and right click on the two corners of our region. Once we've done that it automatically is set to that uh, dungeon hub so we basically create our region once we've uh, clicked on these two. If we right click in the air with our wand uh, tool, you can see that we can see like a little frame. This is just to help you visualize exactly where the hub is. All right, we're now gonna go ahead and set the spawn of the hub. So this is where players will spawn in once they uh, teleport to the dungeon hub. We can now go over to the dungeons NPC that we created earlier and we can right click him and our dungeon is shown up there obviously. We can go ahead and click it now and we get teleported right to our hub uh, spawn point. If we wanna go ahead and customize our teleport, we can go over to slash dungeons edit and then the dungeon number. And we can go over to our region or our hub settings. Let's go ahead and spawn our missions NPC. So this guy will handle all our uh, missions, um, what players can see and what players, what missions players can join in your dungeon hub. So let's go ahead and set him up in our dungeon hub. This guy has to be set in a dungeon hub or else he won't know like what missions he's supposed to be looking at and what missions he's supposed to be displaying to players. So make sure he's in your hub that you created. You're just going to use the command slash dungeons create missions and your NPC will spawn. Make sure in your dungeons edit that you have spawning entities enabled. That is a common mistake I was having and uh, the NPC wouldn't spawn. So make sure you go ahead and uh, allow spawning mobs just for that time when you're spawning in your NPC. Then you can go ahead and uh, deny it once again once the, the villager is set at the location. All right, let's get into dungeon scoreboards. So this plugin includes dynamic scoreboards so to help you out with uh, displaying information to your players. You do need placeholders API, so make sure you have that uh, installed onto your server. You're just gonna go ahead and enable scoreboards in the dungeon scoreboards uh, menu, or you don't have to for the time being. Let's go ahead and create a scoreboard. By default, you're given one scoreboard already. Um, that one has information regarding like the mission score and uh, mission time left. But we can go ahead and create our own custom one by just hitting the create. You can make unlimited amount of scoreboards, it doesn't really matter. And we're just going to add a little bit of a message here to display to our uh, players inside of this specific hub. You can uh, designate which scoreboard you want displayed per hub. So we're just going to say you're inside this dungeon hub's name. So once you're inside this the dungeon's hub, you can see that we have our message displayed to our players, our custom scoreboard um, for the specific hub. But if we leave the hub, our scoreboard changes because it isn't what it's set to uh, for the main scoreboard. The main scoreboard is obviously the first one. You can go ahead and edit that all you want. All right, let's get into actually creating our uh, missions here. This is the meat and potatoes, obviously, of this plugin. So this is what players will be joining to go ahead and uh, partake in raids or killing bosses and whatnot. So we're going to create our first mission in this dungeon hub by going over to slash dungeons edit. We're going to create our new mission and we're going to uh, name it a new name. Obviously it's given some defaults. You can rename it all you want, customize the icon, customize everything. Once you've got that like icon and name and lore looking good, let's go ahead and set the location of our mission. This is exactly like the hub. We want to specify exactly where the mission is and uh, get the spawn down and everything. 
So we're gonna head over to this place I've already marked out here. This is a little mission area that I've set up. I've got like green glass everywhere and uh, different colored glass to represent uh, different structures that we'll be creating in uh, separate videos. You can go over to the separate videos once you've completed this video uh, to see how to create custom spawners, custom mobs, bosses, uh, loot chests, and more. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and create our mission region. So with our missions tool, you just, so we're gonna click on both the corners of the mission. So this is like world guard. Now that it knows that our region is configured, we can go ahead and set the spawn for it inside of the region we specified. So let's go back into our mission and uh, set the spawn here with just mi slash mission set spawn and then dungeon number and mission number So now players will spawn at this exact point All right If we head back to our hub and we click on our missions dude We can now see that the mission we created is there along with our icon and our name and everything It also shows us some stuff like our status if it's in progress or not uh, the amount of people in the queue uh, minimum players and maximum players. We can go ahead and edit it further by uh, going into our missions edit and we can go ahead and configure region protection, uh, seeing if players want to keep their inventory or not, if you want them to keep their inventory on death, and if they, you want them to respawn inside of the mission uh, if they die in it. So you can do like instant death raids where if they die, that's it, they get kicked out and uh, they're back in the dungeon hub. We also have end states, obviously. Um, we have two right now. There's location and there's boss kill. Right now, if there's none selected, that means that the mission ends when the timer runs out. That's just the default. So even if the players haven't killed the boss or reached the location in time, the mission will still end on uh, time expiration. So time trumps all of them in terms of uh, when the mission actually ends. But we can go ahead and configure this mission here to be set to a location uh, so when a player crosses this location they get teleported back to the hub and the mission is over so let's go back into our mission area and we're gonna go and select the region that we want the players to cross over for the uh, mission to be over so once they step over this little uh, region that we specify that means that the mission's over everyone gets teleported out into the hub uh, and everything ends. So we're just going to select with our mission tool uh, the two corners of the place where we want them to uh, be able to cross for the mission to end and we're just going to uh, use the command slash mission set end and then dungeon number and mission number. So now once they are uh, crossing this threshold here they will be teleported out and the mission will be over. Obviously this is not uh, required but we just want to I just wanted to show you guys this uh, in terms of end states. If you just want it to end uh, on time expiration, you can do that as well by just not selecting it. All right, I think we're good to go now. We have our mission basics set up. So now that everything is set up and we've edited everything, we haven't put any structures in yet, but that's fine. We just want to make sure everything is working. We're going to head back over to the uh, hub and we're going to click on our missions dude. Here we can go and select our mission and we're put into the queue. As you can see, we have a countdown here that displays when the mission will actually start. This queue time can be configured obviously as well as the mission duration inside of your mission edit tab. You can view how many players are in the queue by middle clicking and once they teleport out into the mission you can see that we get teleported out and we can't move yet. It's a three second delay and we're free to move everywhere. We can do anything we want. We haven't configured anything, no structures so it's gonna be pretty boring but uh, as you can see on our scoreboard, we have some information with us, like time left and stuff. And if we head over to our portal here, which we designated as our location, like end state, we can click, uh, step over it, and we get teleported out, and the mission's over. So that's the basics of uh, dungeon hub and mission creation inside of these dungeon hubs. You can create unlimited missions. You can do whatever you want. Um, check out the videos below here in the wiki to go ahead and see how to create structures like loot chests, bosses. Uh, and other stuff.